Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about the Giganotosaurus, a massive theropod dinosaur that not only existed in the real world, but one that also happens to have evidence of being present in a future Jurassic Park movie if the filmmakers ever choose to show it off in a new story. So one of the things that a lot of people seem to not know is that there isn't really a specific list of dinosaur species that has ever been released in full to the Jurassic Park fan base. Of course, if we take a look at something like Jurassic Park 3, we hear Alan Grant and Billy Brennan mention something called InGen's List, which is essentially documentation of every dinosaur that the company ever created. In reality though, even this list isn't really true, because we know that animals like the Spinosaurus and Ceratosaurus happen to not be on. On it. Plus, that list would have only documented animals created before the engine buyout that led to Jurassic World, so it isn't really that important in the grand scheme of things at all. One dinosaur, though, that was not planned for exhibition in the original Jurassic Park, but actually did happen to have its DNA mined and processed, happens to be the aforementioned Giganotosaurus, or just Giga for short. So what is a Giganotosaurus? Well, Gigas were at one point in time some of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs to ever exist, famously rivaling the sizes of other animals like T-Rex, although this has been hotly debated for quite some time. Living in what is now Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, Giganotosaurus was basically a massive theropod that could grow upwards of around 40 feet and weigh an estimated 4 to 14 tons. Now, in the Jurassic World franchise, Giganotosaurus is important because it actually was part of the DNA that was used to create the Indominus Rex. Specifically, the Giga DNA helped give it such a big size. The Giganotosaurus representation was also present in the actual theme park itself, where an artist's rendition of the animal can be seen on Main Street. That being said, I want to make it clear that although Jurassic World and Doctor Wu in general did have access to this dinosaur's genetic material, and even used it to create the Irex, that doesn't necessarily mean that the Giga will be appearing in any new media anytime soon. Still, it very well could because we have confirmation that the DNA does exist within canon. Whether or not they ever really cloned it for use in the operational theme park is up in the air. However, it was used in some Fallen Kingdom concept art for when that film was being made early on in production. This concept art, by the way, happened to use art from a seriously popular Giga render that I will of course provide a link to down in the description below. I should make a point though that just because this dinosaur appeared in concept art, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was originally intended to be in that film. Although Spinosaurus similarly showed up in concept art for the movie, and I know for a fact that it was going to be seriously used in Fallen Kingdom early on. So what does this mean for the dinosaur going forward? Well, honestly, Giganotosaurus is an animal that I can see being pretty tempting for a new Jurassic World story to utilize eventually down the line. DNA for the animal does exist in universe, so they could clone one if they ever wanted to, and with its gigantic size and skull-shaped difference to that of the Tyrannosaur, it would probably make for a pretty interesting predator if the series ever really wanted to go for it. But as of right now, we just don't have any evidence of one popping up anytime soon. But hey, like I said earlier, that doesn't mean that things couldn't change in the near future. With that being said, I'd love to hear what all of you think about the Giga appearing in a newer Jurassic story. Do you think it would make for a cool addition to the franchise? Or would you rather see something else? I've heard before in the past that Universal wants to make sure that all of their theropod dinosaurs look different from each other because they don't want any sort of misidentification for audience members when they see a new animal on the big screen. The Giga does look somewhat similar to a T-Rex, but I think if they make it look really, really different from what we've seen of Tyrannosaurs in the past, then yeah, I would think it would be a pretty cool idea to show it off in a new film. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives, like Pete Mesquite. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Tina Lawrence, David Rodriguez, and Big Shark 9000 it seriously means the world to me that all of you guys have chosen to continue supporting what I do, and I never want you to ever forget it. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.